Hi everybody, today it's Corbin and I have a special edition Fandom of the Month box. Now, this one I did talk a lot about last month when I got Fandom. This is the special edition Snape box um, when I think it, when Snape died. So let's delve inside the dual camera video. Let me scoot my butt over. So the first thing right on top is the card as usual. It says the ones that we are... The ones that love us never really leave us. So it's a very pretty little card that's very much so themed. It has the little fawn and it has the beautiful flowers. It's a very pretty little card. I do like that. That is nice. The next thing is says always and it shows the little... Oh, I can never remember what it's called. But it's just pretty much a little tattoo... Or it could be a car sticker, I suppose. I haven't... I need to look and see what people have done with theirs. But it's just a cute little adhesive sticker. Yeah, it's just an adhesive sticker. Very nice. Very adorable kind of thing. I do like that. I don't... I doubt you guys can actually see that through. But it does say always and it's just cool. Next thing. I feel like we've gotten this magnet before. I'm not going to go double check. But this is pretty much just the outline of Snape. It might just be very familiar to the Bellatrix Lestrange one. So, yay. A little magnet. The next thing is wrapped in blue tissue. Beautiful blue tissue that's very magical. We're going to unwrap it. Now, right off the bat, you can tell this is different from the traditional fandom because it comes in a little velvet pouch that says Property of the Half-Blood Prince. Very cute. Um, I do wish they would have stuck with the muslin bag, but that's okay. Um, this will work just fine. It's a bag. So inside, we'll just dump everything out. Set the bag to the side. And continue our little work. Um, right on top, I see a ring. Now, this says 394, so as in, turn to page 394, um, which he says in the first movie to Harry. Um, it's cute. I've seen lots of things about this online in general, so, eh, I mean, I, it's cute. If you're really dedicated, really love Snape, this would be definitely a thing for you. Um, I'll put it back in its little Ziploc bag. As far as I'm concerned, I feel that it's a little... I wish they would have delved a little harder for some, for a cute little accessory like that. That would have been a cuter pair of earrings. Um, the next thing is a little metal bracelet that is silver toned. Very easy to put on. It says, after all this time, always. So it's very cute little bracelet. I believe that's a reference to when he was talking about loving Lily, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. But very cute. Very nice little bracelet. Again, it... it no fr frills. I do like this, though. Um, it is gender neutral. I think that it's adorable as far as in general goes. Um, so the next thing is a pair of earrings... The colors are a little washed out on this, but they are definitely supposed to be snake. I'll try to zoom in on that, but let's see. Uh, they definitely are supposed to be snake. Um, they're, they're nice. I'm not going to say they're not. It, I think this would have made a better ring, and then the ring number would have been made a better earrings, in my opinion. Um... But that's just me. I do like the box so far still, though. So let's delve into the next part. Next part is a necklace. A charm necklace. All right. So it has three charms. It has a potion bottle that says, look at me. Um, it has a fawn, and then it has a flower on it. Now. 
So the potion that says look at me, the little flower, and the fawn. Um, this is very cute on its own, to be honest. It doesn't scream Harry Potter to me or Snape to me that clearly. So that's neither here nor there. Um, I was... I was hoping for some weird reason that we might get something potion-y more than just one little vial or something a little more defense against the dark art oriented or even something more Death Eater oriented, but I mean, you get what you get. Uh, this was overall a nice box. It is relatively gender neutral. Um, as, as It's a nice little memory of him. It's very sad. And I'm happy I got it because it goes towards research and it goes towards a good cause, a good charity. And that's always nice to contribute to that. Um, as I know this was a very unplanned box, so I'm not going to gripe and say that it was horrible. It's just, for me, I was hoping for something a little different. But that's okay. I mean, that happens. As far as if this was just a general fandom box, I would say it's a pretty good one. Um, it's definitely worth the bang for your buck if you're interested in checking it out. Now, they probably will never do a special edition Snape box again, but, I mean, you never know. So, inside of the box, we got the necklace, the earrings, the bracelet, and the ring, and then the property of the Half-Blood Plinch pouch. If you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. I will also have a link to this service down below where you could subscribe and get them once monthly. And it, this service is tons of fun in general. This one's just a little bit more heavy for me and most people in my generation who were dedicated to the Harry Potter fandom. Um, losing him was a big thing and it's just a little hard. But besides that, that all gone. I'm very happy to have gotten this box. I did pay for this one myself. But if you guys would like to get the subscription service, follow my link down below. It helps me to where I can earn a free box, which would be nice. And yeah, uh, share this with your friends who like Snape, who like Hogwarts, who like Harry Potter. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!